And now that we've shown you all the ways you can manually install the operating system to your device, let's uh, get into Flash & Go Update. This is a very nifty graphical installer that you can just uh, download from the website and plug into your device and it will present you with all the options. If you're online, it will actually just pull the versions that have officially been approved and released for your particular device. And uh, then it's just one click away and you have a new operating system on your device. So let's go. So once again, let me take you to our website. And um, what we are looking to do here is download the latest version of Flash & Go Update. And the easiest way to do that is to once again follow the same procedure as in the previous tutorials, find your device, under products um, and go there, scroll down to the software section. This time we'll not go to the, the Rocco downloads, but to Flash and Go. And as you can see, there are different uh, Flash and Go related packages. There's Flash and Go Boot, there's Flash and Go System, which I have been talking about in the previous videos. And there is the latest version of Flash and Go updates. So um, this time there's an, it's not an image, as you can see, it's a zip file that you download. So let's do that. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded it, but you know, just overwrite it. Um, yep. And uh, this is all you need uh, in this scenario. Because we are assuming that your device is indeed connected to the internet. Now open the archive and copy over all those files onto your USB stick. After that, your stick is prepared and all we need to do is just uh, unplug it and insert it into our Santaro device. So be sure to safely eject uh, your USB stick from your host machine and insert it into the USB port on your device. And immediately a uh, flash and go update should boot up. Now take a sip of coffee while it's doing that. I've sped up this process a bit so you don't get totally bored. And here we are in Flash and Go update. And on the left side you will see all the operating systems which have been approved for this particular device. Um, you see that latest Rocco that's actually approved is 1.1. Uh, so we select that. And on the right you can see all the components of that firmware package. And on top you can also see the uh, properties of your particular hardware. Now um, take a look at the options and you see that we have DHCP enabled and offline mode is disabled. You see we have obtained a, a P address so everything should go fine and dandy from here. So let's hit install and uh, see this pop-up which asks us if we really want to install this, uh, this package. And there's a force option in case you're reinstalling the same package to force it to actually update everything once again. Now I've sped up the installation process. This will take a while um, and also depending on your internet connection, obviously how fast the device is pulling the data from our web server. And all you can do now is wait for the installation to finish up. Um, have another sip of coffee then in the end uh, it will ask you if you want to boot into the new operating system. You will just hit yes. Be sure to unplug the USB stick so you don't accidentally boot back into Flash & Go update. And once you do that, the system will boot into your new Rocco installation. Now, I hope this video has been helpful to you. And check out the other videos in the series if you are looking for other ways to update your operating system. In the next one, we'll be talking about Flash & Go update in offline mode in case your device is not connected to the internet. Um, thanks again for watching. Hit the like button, because you should, and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this.